everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video is a little bit different from normal as I'm taking you with me on a big family wedding celebration which took place over four days at a stately house in the English countryside last week. Now I'll be showing you all my outfits each day and giving you a little insight into the event itself as well. Now for my English friends and those of you who visited the UK, you'll know how stunning Somerset is, especially in the summer when the trees and hedgerows are lush with vegetation and everything's so green. So it was a really beautiful rural journey through the rolling English countryside to the wedding venue. The groom had taken over the whole stately house exclusively for the wedding celebrations and what an incredible house. So I thought you'd like a few views of it. It's so historic, I think maybe around 600 years old with grounds that run down to a lake, which you'll see more of in a minute actually. The house is incredibly elegant and just perfect for a wedding. So we travelled down on day one of the wedding celebrations. It was a really hot day here, so I, I just wore shorts and a vest top. And then after a quick change, I wore this dress for the initial reception. And it was a meet and greet on the terrace with champagne, which was followed by a formal sit down dinner and then dancing. You know, it's always difficult to know how to get it right at a formal event, isn't it? But if you've seen any of my videos before, you know, I always say, if in doubt, wear a dress. And as I had to wear a single outfit from before four o'clock in the afternoon until midnight or beyond, a dress was definitely the way to go. I also didn't want to wear a long dress because the celebration started, as I said, in the afternoon. So I thought that might look a little bit of an overkill and also I might get too hot as well. It was really boiling hot that week. This beautiful turquoise dress is from Sassanda, and what I love about it is the vibrant colour. It's a real standout colour. And if you've been following me on Instagram as well as here, you'll know that I've been on a little bit of a diet recently. I honestly thought I'd never get into a dress with a bodycon shape like this one again. But after I've lost, I think I've lost about six pounds, um, I did manage it. I was so thrilled actually. There was even a little bit of material to spare here. Now I teamed it with simple low heels and a cream clutch bag, which I chose it because it had a built-in chain as well, so I could go hands-free for most of the evening, which was much easier. I wore some simple minimalist pearl earrings and necklace from Monica Vinader, which I thought just lifted the look and gave a light effect around my face, because I think heavy gold chains and earrings would have had too much of a heavy effect with the bright blue color. Now you can see here how elegant the surroundings of the house are and such a beautiful colored stone as well so day two my husband and I didn't have a really late night as we wanted to pace ourselves for the whole four day thing and to be ready for a multiple outfit day so we were up bright and early the next morning as I had duties which I'd actually volunteered for myself um, I volunteered to be a ball girl at the tennis competition which involved many of the wedding guests but not me <laughs> as tennis isn't my thing really um, so for this I chose a skort I love this skort because I think it looks Sporty, but it's not too much. It's quite feminine at the same time. Now I just paired it with a ribbed cotton vest, nice and cool, and my trusty Veja sneakers, which picked up the sort of soft buttercream tones of the skort as well as the white top. And I like to think that I looked as though I was into the tennis, even though I never picked up a racket. It was quite windy actually, so I was glad that I wasn't really in a, a short skirt. Now what I did love doing though was croquet and for this, followed by a pool party, I changed into my lovely Tommy Bahama spa dress. I just adore this dress. It's colourful, it's cheerful, but it's not overdressed up. I just added some fairly dainty gold pieces. I've got my Nord Green watch on, gold hoops from Melissa Odebash, just a classic wardrobe staple in jewellery, I always think, some gold hoops, and a little gold necklace from Karen Millen. So as you can see, I, I did actually finally get the ball through the croquet hoop. Yay. I think it was fourth time lucky. For the third change of the day, I stuck with a printed dress, but much longer dress this time for the barbecue at the lake and the grounds of the house. It was such a stunning venue, especially in late afternoon as the sun was setting. It was incredibly hot though. We don't normally get weather like this at all in September. So it was magical, 
if a little sweltering. Now I shot my closet for this gorgeous gem of a dress. Now this dress has actually seen quite a lot of the world. I've worn it in uh, Dubai, Paris, the south of France, Spain, North Africa and loads of other places actually and I've had it for about 20 years. But if you're looking for a dress that's relaxed or for a relaxed but semi-formal evening function that's elegant, slimming and lengthening and which will stand the test of time, go for a long line dress like this because I felt it really worked well with the minimal volume the fluid lines but it really wasn't tight at all it's a really versatile piece suitable for many occasions now I selected a print which was timeless so in this case as you can see it's a sort of paisley look but of course any classic print like perhaps polka dots or stripes that sort of thing which is never truly in or out of style also, this one has enough material in the front to disguise the amount of food I ate, which was extra brilliant. I had to wear flat shoes to my Mark Fisher slides, the gold champagne slides, really comfortable because we were walking a bit in the grounds uh, of the house down to the lake. Day three. So day three was the actual wedding. <laughs> so I had to wear something classy, elegant and cool. So I chose this to die for Norma Kamali dress. Now it's called the Diana dress actually as Diana, the ex-princess of Wales, had one like this designed for her and it's become really iconic. She wore hers in black and somewhat shorter than mine but it comes in lots of different colours and it's been worn by lots of celebrities as well such as Sarah, Jessica Parker, people like that. But you know what it's what it is is so flattering because this ruching that goes all the way around the dress hides literally everything. <laughs> uh, by that stage after three days I wasn't quite as slender as I had been on day one so the ruching was really helpful and it also has a sort of a built-in spank style shapewear piece underneath too so it's extra flattering as it really pulls you in it gives you that hourglass figure even when you don't have one like me now what I adored most about it though was the incredible color it's yellow but just the most amazing shade of bright vivid daffodil color to die for now as the dress was such a statement in its own right some of the accessories well most of the accessories I chose were moderately simple the bag was just simple and ivory slightly pearlescent but quite plain the shoes were really old actually um, I've had these sorts of champagne color gold heels for maybe a thousand years um, but what I would say is that the fascinator as you can see here was not simple now as you know I'm only five foot four so I really needed some height and I thought long and hard about whether to wear a hat or a fascinator but I just felt that a hat itself would look wrong somehow with this design of dress especially as as you can see the dress is asymmetrical so the hat would have had to have been at a really jaunty angle all very complicated so I opted for this ivory fascinator instead which gave me lots of height <laughs> I also wore my hair to one side to add to the asymmetrical look and I've added some really fun earrings these are from Bowden and they're just one pearl which is actually at the ear with a drop of gold like a line of gold and then another bigger pearl at the end. They're great fun, I just love them. I'm in the ballroom here where we took some photos um, away from the guests. We didn't want to intrude on anyone's privacy and actually it was requested by the bride and groom as well. But the ballroom is where the reception took place after the wedding. So the actual ceremony was outside in the grounds wonderful but I think most of the guests really suffered in the boiling hot temperatures it was around 90 degrees um, and no shade but much better than pouring rain of course so the day was filled with the ceremony uh, then we had drinks and canapes on the terrace uh, the formal wedding reception and then dancing till dawn so on day four we all went home <laughs> to recover from the whole wedding and it was such a beautiful time seeing family and friends meeting lots of new people too from all over the world so I really hope you've enjoyed this really different video. I will link most of the items for you under the video. Now I have to say, you really must have a look at this fabulous dress I wore for the wedding. I think it would suit loads of body shapes and heights as well. So if you want a really stand out, fabulous dress, ladies, this is it. <laughs> so I will see you very soon for more of my, let's say, normal styling videos. And if you're new here, please do subscribe as we have a fabulous community on my channel. So have an amazing day, amazing week. I'll see you really, really soon. Lots of love. Bye. Mm -hmm.